right, time to get healthy. Five minutes after 9 o'clock, Bern Pareso is here from Good For All Marketing. We're going to learn about things we can do to stay healthy. And one of the things we can do is wear blue. She's wearing blue, looking good. <laughs> it's everything blue. All the WOCA stuff is blue. Your shirt is blue. Everything's blue. Everything is blue. But not in the sad sense, in the happy. It's, it's ha- in it's a like happy a, sense, it's correct. Like a very beautiful kind of a day. How you doing? Good morning. I'm fantastic. Beautiful Monday, sunny and, and cool. blue. And, and blue. blue. <laughs> the, the sky, sky is, blue. is blue. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this month, March, is um, actually dedicated to colorectal cancer awareness. Mm. Um, year 2000, um, President, I should say ex-President Clinton, dedicated this. He declared that March is colorectal oh, cancer awareness month. Now, you know, colorectal, sometimes, it, you know, a lot of our friends are confused, but when, let's just say colon cancer awareness month that might you know easier and it makes sense um so good morning good morning you know what the, you know what the article said the other day i was just looking it up it said it's, the, it's the most easily preventable cancer well especially now with colon screening so i didn't know that uh, you've heard the word colonoscopy and yeah. your family Providers may have mentioned that to you. If you are age 50, um, this is the time. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm safe. I'm not 50. So. You're not 50 mm. yet, right? Very younger. No, I'm not younger than 50. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just not 50. However, however, <laughs> if you have history in the family. If we have history in the family? History in the family. You need to get colon screening oh, history. earlier uh, than History 50. of cancer. History of colon, colon cancer. cancer. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. okay, okay. Hist- I'm sorry, because you were talking and I just kind of jumped in. <laughs> I, have, I have a habit of doing this. <laughs> anyway, community. Again, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, again, 50 years and above. Um, you should pro- you should communicate with your family provider and ask to get screened. Ask him or her to get a referral to a gastroenterologist. Um, I would recommend or endorse um, Seven Hill Gastroenterology. Dr. Vishnu Reddy, um, he has an office as, at... Highway 301 or 441, one mile south of the hospital. Why is it called gastro? Gastro. What does that actually mean? So I would say gas. Because that's where the gas comes from? (laughs) All that bloating and stuff? Exactly. IBS, abdominal pain in your Uh digestive system. It's all about gas. So gastro, you know, it's so amazing. We have a lot of words that came from uh, are they greek does it sound greek right, to right, you? Right, gastro right. but i would it's probably derived from the word the root word gas you would think so yeah right so it seems like a gaseous place in there <laughs> gas <laughs> oh, i have no. that sometimes it's embarrassing <laughs> it is especially under I, the covers and, uh, <laughs> i know but without that what would happen to our body Exactly. exactly. It's a good thing, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. right. So um, that's, I hope I answered your question. Why is it called gastro? Gastro and then entero. Ga- you know, we have enteritis. Well, I know it probably sounded like I was being silly, but I was, I was actually it wondering. I was that's a- actually a good point. Well, I was wondering if we call gas gas because of the word yeah, gastro. gastro. Or is gastro because of the gas? Well, I just know that gastroenterologists, they study uh, digestive uh, system, uh, diseases of the liver and the kidneys and all that. So anything that's relating to the tummy, you know, Mm -hmm. all the way, just like we have the heart, and they are called cardiologists, and the neuro, which is the brain, is neurologist, what else? And then overall, you know, your family doctor, they are internist, or family care specialist, well, God designed all of these to help humanity survive. Um, So anyway, the question is, what do we do this month to be able to make a difference? 
I have a suggestion. What is it? Encourage families to get active together. Exercise may help reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Exercise. Exercise. Wait, any particular type of exercise? Um, we have so many. But you can just pick one. Bicycling? Is Bicycle, that a, that'll work? Walking, uh, stretching is an exercise. Bicycling too far might be a problem, though. Because uh, you're pushing up. I mean, that seat pushes up but, on your butt a long time. But it helps a oh, lot with your idea. heart. Bicycling? Yeah, bicycle. Oh, it okay. pumps, you know, the... Um, our. You know how it is when you start biking? It, mm. it activates all the senses in your body, and after a while... You sweat, right? Right, right. You get warm. And, in, fr- uh, in France, they always put a, a loaf of bread in the basket on the front of the bicycle. <laughs> no, is that... Oh. Do, you, do you ever notice that? <laughs> what do you do with that bread? I don't know. When you get that, tired, <laughs> you get snacks. Have you ever seen it? Like, whenever you see a picture of somebody bicycling in France, okay. there's always a, a, like a loaf of bread. Well, I do love French bread. And, and that's they must be delivering it to somebody. It must be a lot of bicycle deliveries of bread over oh, well, in France. I, 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 yeah, it's either you know that person is selling bread or <laughs> delivering bread or maybe he or she will eat that <laughs> later on <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we do don't you pack some snacks sometimes when I, you go places uh, oh i need to, yeah i got them right now in my left pocket i got some snacks <laughs> you have candy there <laughs> I, I have coffee in my car so again going back to march being the colorectal cancer colon cancer awareness month if you're 50 get screen um if you know that you have history in your family ask your doctor to get a referral uh, earlier than 50, I would say 42, but I do know that we have yeah. history of younger, you know, yeah, um, yeah. younger adults or younger people that have been diagnosed with cancer. So, And uh, that's very interesting because my aunt, right before Christmas, I just found this out. They had, she had something in her colon. They couldn't make it go away so they had to do interesting something else to go. it and she was so glad that they were able to do what what they did uh, was it precancerous or it yeah right yeah so um, so she was really scared but then the doctors oh she she was in wisconsin so okay. the doctors up there took care of it and what was it? alleviate i'm not exactly sure there you but go. she was so, really scared there you go That's so it. without the colon screening you know nothing you can't see you can't see your st- stomach. I think they had to remove part of it. I think that's, that's what she true. said. What, what they, they had s- to remove part of it. Polyps. Hmm. You know, they they can that gastroenterologist they can remove precancerous mm-hmm. before they turn into cancer. So again, this is the month. And going back to how do do we make a difference to our friends? I mean, just like three of us right now, we are right. making a difference because right. we all have gonna a lot. Get one of these tests <laughs> together. <laughs> we have a lot of listeners. I know. We encourage them. We could all go together. <laughs> we were, we've been talking for about that for three years now um anyway but the problem is if the three of us are in the same room we'll be laughing from from first minute <laughs> all the way to the end i told you i'll take but pictures but don't you have to show your butt i mean isn't that part of well, it well you um i think that's the area but how do you do it without... that's the area that dr reddy would concentrate do you pull yeah. down your own pants or does somebody else pull down your pants yeah. who actually does the pant pulling down the, the, you'll, you'll be sleeping by then. Oh, you, oh. oh, they put you to sleep and then they pull your pants you down? You won't know what's happening, but you are, I can guarantee that you... Do they pull you, them back up before you wake up? Um, I believe so. You you, do, you don't want to be exposing yourself no. to... No, no, they, it's, it's in a doctor's office. It's, but I'm, I'm, I can assure you, you are in good hands. So again, for colon screening... I would love screening. to hear what they say. <laughs> When they first pull down my pants, I wonder what they say. You'll be sleeping. Look you'll at the be, you'll size be of this dreaming. Guy's butt. You're gonna have your tape recorder. You'll be on. dreaming. You. You'll have I'm gonna get my recorder. Anyway, yeah. thank I'll you. I'll play it on the air the next morning. <laughs> Well, we'll find out. We'll see. Anyway, community, uh, it's uh, it's been very uh, <laughs> joyful here at WOCA. Yes, we not are blue speaking at all. and we are um, spreading the news about the colorectal cancer month being this month, and that's the reason we wear blue. So Larry and Robin and myself here, we wear blue. And you gave me a beautiful blue pen too. That's that's right. That is so absolutely that's colon, gorgeous. That's colon cancer. Uh, yeah. Awareness uh, Month. Thank 
Thank you. And um, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our show this morning. I did. Are you done? Are you <laughs> I am done. Are my you time is up? up. I yeah, I have to get out again and proceed to my, you know, next appointment. You got last coffee qu- waiting for you. Last question. Do you get excited waking up in the morning? <laughs> yes. <Monday>? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Sometimes I do. How, how Robin, did you know? Robin, be honest. Does he really get excited? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I do. I do. I have no clue. Do you do? Oh, you do? I do. I do. Yeah, thank you. Know. you thank you. I'm Bern <laughs> Pariso. Uh, before I forget, if you would like to contact Seven Hill Gastro, the phone number is 352-401-1919 or email me at burn, B-E-R-N, at G-F-A, medicalmarketing.com. This is all for today. I will see you again next week and be safe, everybody. Thank you, Bern. You're welcome. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. See, boating is no accident. On this Monday, a nice day with sunshine, the high 72 to 76. 